Hey guys, welcome back to another figure review. As I stated before in my last video, if you saw my Luke Skywalker, A New Hope, Farm Boy um, <laughs> review, you'd have seen that I got Ahsoka as well. So we're going to be reviewing Ahsoka today. This is number 20 from the Black Series Wave 6 of this um, red-backed variation of the packaging, I guess. Um, like I said, number 20. Really cool figure. This is going to be really anticipated by fans of Rebels. Um, people are snatching this up and selling it for fortunes on uh, eBay. It's been highly sought after. I know there's still a lot of people out there that don't don't get into Rebels, but even I think for those who are Clone Wars fans, are still going to get up, get this, pick this figure up because it's it is really really good, and I'm really impressed with it. Um, yeah, can't wait to can't wait to have a good close look at this thing. It says on the back here. Anakin Skywalker's apprentice Ahsoka Tano left the Jedi Order before it was destroyed during Order 66. She would re-emerge years later as Fulcrum, a leader in the fledgling rebellion against the Empire. So that's where we see her in uh, Star Wars Rebels. Um, she makes her, her first appearance at the end of Season 1 and sort of pops up occasionally throughout Season 2 before a very impressive... Um, few character moments for her we don't we don't we, again we don't know what's happened to her so but i like to think she's alive i really do awesome character let's have a look at the figure all right guys here she is ahsoka tano very impressive figure um as always stay tuned to the very end of the review for some photos of uh just some shots of this figure all posed up and looking awesome um so we'll start off just briefly with her accessories she comes with her two two lightsabers we can just focus in on the hilt there. There we go. So there's the first one. As you can see, just sort of down towards my fingers, there's a hook. Um, they hook to the side of her. Um, I don't even know what to call that. I guess it's like a skirt, but it's not. And there's her shorter blade as well, which also has a hook, which is cool. Now they both come with blades, um, as you can see there, one's one shorter than the other. So the short blade obviously goes with the short lightsaber, <clears throat> as Ahsoka's always had. And we've got this um, really nice light blue blade. Um, they appear pretty much white in the show, in the uh, in the series Rebels, but um, yeah, it's nice that they've gone and given it this really light blue kind of. It's a nice look. Now onto the figure. They've done a really good job of bringing Ahsoka to life in the in the in the way it's sort of they've gone the, they've gone the realistic route, which is which is awesome. And they've done a really good job of it. I'm really impressed with this figure. This is easily one of my favourites of the line so far. Um, just, she's awesome. She kicks kicks ass. Um, she's tough. Yeah, it's awesome. It was so good to see her come back into into Rebels um, after going going through the hard yards of becoming a, lo a loved character through the Clone Wars um, for someone that was really really disliked early on in the Clone Wars days and becoming a character that's it's loved more th as much as any of them um, it's really good to see um, and yeah just the detail on this figure is really really nice so I hope that lights doing it justice Just really nice paint apps and details. There's a little bit of white just on the cheek in the corner there, but that's not a big deal. And a little bit of orange, so just on the um, on her. I guess they're not really Leku because she's a different species. But the markings on her head, tails <laughs> are really cool. But um. Yeah, her suit, her, her outfit's really nicely done too, really nicely sculpted and especially like the little prints down here. 
and it's on the side there which looks really good so we've got like little buttons and stuff on her arm, arm guard there which looks really nice too we go down to her boots and she is a difficult figure to stand because she's got such dainty little feet but I mean I use I use blue tack all the time anyway so it's not a big problem but um yeah I just love this figure and here she is next to a Rebels counterpart from the uh, three and three quarter Rebels line. Another another cool little five point of articulation figure, but you can just see the way they've brought it into a realistic realistic life, which is just really good to see. And um, yeah, can't wait to get some of the more the other Rebels characters. So far, I think we're only getting Sabine. But um, no doubt they'll get onto Ezra, Hera, Zeb, Chopper, hopefully. Be good to see them round out the team eventually. Just one figure every couple of waves would be nice. Or, you know, just do a full wave of Rebels, <laughs> Rebels characters, but I don't think they will. But the articulation for this figure, she's got a ball-hinged head, as you can just sort of see under there. But again, the head tails don't... Look make it hard to um move around she's got the upper torso joint there which is nice she's got the hinged shoulders hinged elbows ball hinge wrist so that wrist goes in and out and that wrist goes up and down she's got the hinges at the hips uh swivel at the thighs in there double jointed knees and joints in the ankles with a slight rocker but again that sort of the side of the boot there sort of hinders that a little bit but Overall, this is going to be a really highly sought-after figure, much like I think uh, Darth Revan will be in the next, next in the coming waves. Um, that thing will be going for stupid prices on eBay. <laughs> but um, Aussie friends, check your Kmart and your Meyer stores because um, they're showing up there in droves. Um, I know, uh, buddy Jake. I sent him to Meyer today. <laughs> um, Rogue Leader, he goes by here on YouTube, um, and he picked up Luke, and he said there was three Ahsokas there, so these there aren't going to be any shortage of these anywhere here in Australia, at least. Um, my Kmart's already have already have already gone through two cases of them, um, so yeah, I don't think anyone will be struggling within the next few weeks, at least here in Australia. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Once again, stick around for some photos just after I finish chatting or not chattering away and uh thank you very much for watching leave any comments or feedback below and we'll see you on the next video until then guys may the force be with you